Hello and welcome to another mod first look video. Today we're going to be having a look at the Kenoki Crossmax 600 by Vertex Design. So let's get into it. So first up, let's just go and have a look at it in the store. Uh, the Kenoki Crossmax 37,500. It does come with two design options. Let's just give it a little twirl. Really nice, great detail. I think the camera is a little bit off in the store, but that's that's not their fault. Really nice detail. It's got the uh, the cross workings of the discs. So you've got a row that goes in one direction, a row in the other, turns your soil on top of each other, and then rolls it out. And then you've got little tines at the bottom to sort of smoothen it out. But yeah, for the design, we have for the back part here, design one, design two, choice is yours. Whether one is uh, more American, more European, I'm not sure. I think I prefer that one, to be fair. That's what I like. Uh, it has a working speed of 11 miles per hour, 6 meter working width, 180 horsepower, uh, weighs 3 tons. This is 3 tons kilo, so I doubt this weighs 3 tons. So let's get one on the farm and have a little look at it, shall we? So here we have it, the Kenoki Crossmax 600. We've had one delivered to our test farm. So we can have a little look at this. Really nice detail. Vertex Design always bring out some bangers and they always get them out early. The detail that they put into their mods is second to none. This looks really nice. The, uh, the Crossmax 600 is a disc harrow. So it just sort of tills the top it's not not deep cultivation or a deep harrow just across the top really nice design here by these guys it requires 180 horsepower it is a six meter working width it has a working speed of 18 kilometers per hour and it costs uh 37 and a half thousand of your chosen pounds euros or dollars it's really nice. Uh, we're going to get one in work and order. So uh, let's stick one on the back of a tractor and uh, let's go disc harrow a field. So we've got one on the back of our John Deere here. You can see the undersides while it's up and folded. How the, how the discs cross over on each other as they go across. Again, we can see the detail. The nuts, the bolts, the screws, even the little washers behind everything. Really good, really nice detail. Like I say, Vertex always, always brings out a banger for us. So it does fold, it does unfold, so we'll get it unfolded. The sound on the hoses. Really nice. So we've got ourselves a harvested field. So let's go out and we'll uh, give this a harrow. We drop down. Let's see it in action. And there we are, we can see the soil coming up and laying down on it. Try and get in close, we can see the wheels turning. The discs, trying to get so we can see the, uh, the interlocking pattern of the discs. There we are from here, with the dust kicking up. But we can see how the, how the discs cross over with each other, turning the soil one way, turning it in on itself. And then the rollers sort of smoothing it out, give us our track. And then our tines just smoothing it out for us, but it's really nice, great detail. I'm only going at three miles an hour. If I put my foot down, 11 miles an hour. That feels quick. That feels super quick. But while we just have a little drive with it, it does say the Kanuke Crossmax short disc harrow is characterized by the X shaped discs, which allow the implement to be pulled particularly precisely over the field. Thus, a track following and efficient work is no problem. The width of 6 meters makes it suitable for almost all farm sizes, and then comes under the category of disc harrow, and once again, price 27,500, requires 180 horsepower, working width of 6 meters, and a working speed of 18 kilometers per hour, or 11 miles per hour. Well, I think that's a, a great little addition. Hopefully we'll see more from Vertex Design soon because they've brought out some bangers in the past. 
I'll look forward to, uh, to getting that into my farm. And hopefully you've enjoyed this mod first look video at the Kanoke Crossmax 600 by Vertex Design. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.